Welcome to Tom Wegener's Creation Plantation, and this is part one of the Wooden Single Fin Project. I've been talking a lot about this is the most exciting time in all of surfing, and, and it is, and tonight I'm going to try to sh show you exactly why. Now this is a single fin that uh, I made for Nusa Longboard, and it is so sick, and in my opinion it rides better than the single fins of the 1970s. I rode uh, single fins in the 1970s. They rode good back then, but they didn't really survive the test of time because uh, they have certain flaws. The main flaw is that when a, a regular single fin is in a turn, it just decelerates so much. And it decelerates because it has a sharp rail here and a sharp rail in the front. And that down rail from the front to the end of the board is actually fast down the line, but very slow in a turn. Well. When I look at a, a surfboard now, I don't look at the traditional 70 single fin. Everything that I make starts from here, starts from the Alea. And this is the fundamental basic surfboard, and I'm shaping this one right now. And the fundamental thing of my board is there's a concave with two convex rolls right there. And what they do is first, the concave makes the board faster, and second, the roll here pulls into the wave, but also turns the board that way. So when this board, when this is engaged, the board will want to turn that way, and this one will want to go the other way. So it really helps uh, in controlling your board going across the wave. So with that in mind, and a very flat, flat rocko shape, I, I get my order for a single fin, and I say, well, I put the I put the blank on without a stringer in it. I say, well, first I'm gonna make it as flat as I possibly can which is, here I go, I make it a very, very flat rocker, nearly an S deck in the deck, actually it even might be. And, um, and of course then I put my stringers in, I always cut my own stringers from my... So I start shaping this, I start looking at the board and I say, well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rounder rail in the tail. And the rounder rail, it, it, the, it, for a board to turn, a round rail will go underwater, allow you to turn and come out of a turn. And you actually keep your speed with a bit of round rail. The round rail sucks into the wave. And I want to show you exactly what this rail looks like. So I'm depending on my little uh, uh, copying instrument right here, which is just crucial, and really looking at the rail shapes. And here we go. There's my rail for the tail. And it, it is significantly different than most rail, uh, tail rails. And this roll right through there, that's what lets the tail go underwater and do a very quick arcing turn. And you actually don't lose as much speed when, you're, when your rail goes underwater. So, and then the, the nose rail is actually very similar. The, the uh, 70s single fins really had the nose right, but uh, they kind of failed as far as uh, evolution goes because the tail was so slow. So there's my nose. You can see the very down rail nose. Yeah. And so what the nose does is actually grabs into the wave. The tail rail doesn't grab into the wave so much because they have a fin back there. So when I start with this board, I make it like an Alea, but it has a rounder rail and it has a fin on it, so the fin is going to hold the tail in, so these rails aren't, don't have to be hard to hold the tail in. When you have aggressive rails in the tail, meaning rails that want to bite, as well as a fin, the two are actually fighting each other, and that's where your drag comes from. This board, I'm really eliminating the drag. With the flat rocker, it's basically an Alea. Like, the bottom here has that same Alea curve, and. Can you see there's a, there's a concave here and a roll right there? And if I chopped the board off right here, it would basically be in a layup. So why am I doing all this? Because I'm going to make this out of wood. And this is where the exciting part comes in, is I can take all that we've learned from the Alea, this foam board, and now I can put it onto a plankton board, which is the hollow oil board. And I'm going to tell you right now, and I'll be proven with history, the oiled board 
oiled wood is faster. The oiled polonia surface is fast. It's clearly the fastest surface for a surfboard that we know of, that's easy to use. I mean, the guy, you know, I, I should have done all the super slick surfaces. The oiled surface is amazing, and it lasts forever, and it's not toxic, and it's beautiful. As a matter of fact, just today, I rode this board at Johnson's, and it went so fast that I, I was making waves that I would never even hope to make on any other board except in the land. They're just so fast, and the few people that are riding them are just tripping out. So, I'm making this board, I'm going to take you through all the steps how to make this a plankton board. Now the first thing in order to do, so to make this board, putting it into a plankton, we have to really measure everything out. And the first thing you do is you measure your deck curve. This is uh, just my little rocker copying device, very technical. Here we have our deck rocker that I'll cut it. The next thing is to draw a, te a template. And so you can take the fin out, get a nice flat piece of ply, and you just draw one line, man. Whenever you're drawing a template, just draw one line. So we're starting on making this out of wood. So we have to copy this shape and really look at it closely. Everybody else uses computers to do this. I won't. Um, I think it, you just need to feel it in your hand and to, to, to feel how the water comes over the ray and how it sucks into the wave. Uh, you need to do it by hand.